It's Terrence Crawford, the face of boxing or pound for pound king. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, this article was based off uh, an interview that Andre Ward did off All the Smoke. And uh, I thought it was interesting. Um, I don't know why people get in their feelings about when Andre Ward says something, you know. But one thing about Terrence Crawford, um, I would not deny that he's in the conversation. You know, there is no denying that. But like I've always said, you know, Terrence Crawford is my favorite fighter over Javante Tank Davis. And Javante Davis is one of my favorite fighters. Terrence Crawford, I wouldn't consider the face of boxing over Javante Tank Davis. And neither would I consider Canelo, you know. But of course, that's within reason. It's within logic. You know, it's not within feelings like most of these people. And feelings is what this article represents, you know, because at the end of the day, this was just Andre Ward's opinion on the situation. So this is what he ended up saying. You know, he's saying, you know, I think we talk about the face of boxing, Canelo Alvarez, Tank Davis, that Terrence Crawford is in the conversation. It's nothing wrong with that. Now, the thing about Terrence Crawford is this. Whether face of boxing or pound for pound, um, he's denied on both ends when at least one should be abundantly clear that he is. And one thing he definitely is, is pound for pound. See, the thing is, they want Canelo to be everything. They want him to be the face of boxing, the pay-per-view king, and the pound for pound fighter when there's no way that he can be all those especially pound for pound fighting the opposition and giving the fights that he has given now in the article they go on to say that how Javante Davis sold 1.2 million you know fighting Ryan Garcia now this is the thing if you pay attention they say that well Tank only sold that much because of the popularity of Ryan Garcia pay close attention to that because of the popularity of Ryan Garcia okay but this is the thing Ryan Garcia couldn't sell that on his own nor is he a pay-per-view star on his own Tank Davis is a pay-per-view star on his own and if it was Ryan's popularity that made Javante Tank Davis get over a million pay-per-view buys but then they talk about uh, Canelo Alvarez uh, 500,000 with uh, uh, whoever the hell that was that he fought last, because I ain't got it in front of me right now, then what they're saying is Ryan Garcia is more popular than Canelo Alvarez. Because if Ryan Garcia is the reason why Javante Davis sold over a million pay-per-views and people are saying Canelo is the face of boxing and he's so popular, then how come his popularity couldn't transfer over nothing more than 500,000 okay so if popularity was the key and being that Canelo Alvarez is more popular than Ryan Garcia then why wasn't he able to pull off the same numbers as Ryan Garcia versus Javante Tank Davis if Ryan Garcia was the main reason that he sold so much and Canelo Alvarez is more popular than Ryan Garcia so tell me does that make any logical sense it doesn't it doesn't because not only that is the elements is on the side of the fight you know anytime you match black and brown it's always some good numbers you know what i'm saying mostly due to the latino crowd you know what i'm saying because they're very invested in getting behind their fighters and they're very anti-black and that transfer as cash as far as boxing goes that's why i tell people understanding race and boxing is just understanding the sport of boxing because you have to understand how it's sold you know but the thing is, is when Terrence Crawford was undoubtedly pound for pound, people had a problem with that. If you couldn't put Lomachenko in that spot, it had to be Canelo Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? And now that Andre Ward saying that he's in the conversation, that's all he is saying, that he is in the conversation. You know, it got somebody in their feelings to the point they felt they had to write about it and feel that Andre Ward is, you know, um you know speaking out of speaking out of pocket and he has no reason to say it when when all that he's saying is he's in that vicinity and he is when i broke down 
Tank Davis is the face of boxing. I told you why. You know, nobody brought more celebrities to the sport than Javante Tank Davis. Some people are going to try to bring up fighters from the 90s or some stuff like that. As of currently right now, there is not a boxer out alive that commands more celebrity attention than Javante Tank Davis. That is a fact, and I've proven it in several videos. Okay? Now, when it comes to Terrence Crawford, the reason why he has to be somewhat in the conversation, because the moment you have one of the biggest and the best-selling rap artists to not only attend your fight, but it looks like they will continue to attend your fights, then that means you also bring that face of boxing element. Do I think it's above tank? No. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not putting Canelo out there either. But this is what people don't understand by calling Canelo the face of boxing and comparing him to Javante Tank Davis and Terrence Crawford. Canelo would be the face of boxing considered by default because he has a country behind him. If he didn't have a country behind him, where would he be ranked? That's why it's even more impressive to have these two guys next to him because there is no country that supports them as a whole. Okay? They don't even have their race that supports them as a home. Canelo has both. Okay? He has both. And once again, this is not saying that he is. This is saying that he just belongs in the conversation. And in, in, and in this article, they're saying that he doesn't even belong in a conversation. And that's just strictly absurd. Of course he does. Would I give it to him? No. But he's definitely pound for pound number one. But when we try to get that clear on the board, we met with all the backlash, you know, and people are bringing up Tank, but they don't like Tank wearing those titles either. You know what I'm saying? But we all know it's not Canelo Alvarez. At the end of the day, when it comes to these positions, people have a problem believing and wanting and seeing that it might be a black face that sits in those seats which is asinine because it is a sport that's dominated by minorities, black and brown. And we all know black has been the dominant fighting force in boxing, then, now, past, future, and present. It just simply is what it is. But to get upset or to say somebody is speaking out of pocket, to say that he's in a conversation, you might not be an authentic boxing fan. You just might be a knee pad wearer because there's nothing wrong with that. But if he's not one, he's definitely the other. You know what I'm saying? But you can't have Canelo pound for pound king, pound for pound, uh, 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 pay-per-view king, uh, all this stuff. You can't have him be all that. He can't be all that. There's no way. Just like Terrence Crawford doesn't fit in every category, but he definitely fits in one of them. And that's pound for pound. So it's nothing ridiculous that Andre Ward said. He just said that he's in the conversation. And... You know, people keep trying to deny Tank and they want to bring up numbers, but they want to contribute those numbers to Ryan Garcia because of his popularity. But Canelo's bigger than Ryan Garcia. You know, and he only produced half a million. You know, and Ryan Garcia can't sell nowhere near close to that on his own or fighting anybody else. And nor was he a pay-per-view star before that. And nor, nor would you see him on pay-per-view before or after that. Okay, so it's not Ryan Garcia's popularity because for the most part, at least up until the Devin Haney fight, the Mexican community didn't mess with Ryan Garcia, especially after fighting Tank because they was upset that he even fought Tank because he lost to him and they didn't want to see a Latino fighter lose to somebody like Tank. That's why they were upset with Ryan Garcia and it was even more pissed when he went to go fight Devin Haney, which is why they had Mexicans for Haney. You know what I'm saying? Then when he beat Haney, they're like, oh, we're going to take this victory right here. And then they went right back on their schedule program like they always do. But before then, the Latin community didn't mess with Ryan Garcia like that. That's why in the end, when stuff got bad, he decided to dog whistle and uh, pander to biggest because he knew that was the only crowd that he had left. And he know that it's a big crowd that, uh, that thrives in boxing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he chose to pander towards biggest because he knew that that was a space that could be filled and he knew he can get support just based off that just based off the fact alone that they hate seeing black fighters in those kind of positions so damn much but it's nothing ridiculous 
what Andre Ward said. He just said that he should be in the conversation and that's it. But you can't have Canelo be all those things and you can't deny that Terrence Bud Crawford's pound for pound number one and you can't deny that Tank Davis selling power trying to contribute it to Ryan Garcia when Ryan Garcia couldn't produce that on his own and Canelo's more popular than Ryan Garcia and did less numbers than Ryan Garcia versus Tank. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane, I'm out.